Titanosaurian sauropods, the long-necked dinosaurs, include some of the biggest animals ever to walk on land. We have never known anything about what they looked like when they were babies. We haven't had any data that could shed light on the question until now. And so my colleagues and I had an opportunity to study a really tiny, the first and smallest of its kind out of an egg sauropod dinosaur from Madagascar. These little sauropods would hatch from their eggs and really be on their own in a really rough environment in the late Cretaceous of Madagascar. So a lot of times dinosaur bones, you know, we study them on the outside only and we look at things like you know, anatomy to understand who a dinosaur is. But if you open up the insides of dinosaur bones and look at their microscopic structure, you can tell a lot more about how dinosaurs grow. And so we looked at the histology, the bone histology of this little dinosaur to find that it was a precocial animal, not so reliant on parental care. We know that the animal hatched from an egg at about seven pounds, um, maybe about ankle high at the back upon hatching, and an egg probably about the size of a softball, but certainly no bigger than a soccer ball. Of the bones that we found from this little skeleton, most of them are forelimb and hindlimb bones. We have a couple of bones from the hips and a couple of bones from the fingers and, and toes. Um, so if you take a look at these, the first one that was sort of the, the giveaway that this was a sauropod dinosaur when we first discovered the bones, it's this one. This is the femur. Um, it's a right femur and it shows this really nice articulation here with the hip and then the articulations down here for the lower limbs, the shin bones. Um, and you can, it may be hard for, for people to tell how little this bone is, but an adult femur like this is, is about 143 centimeters, close to five, a little over five feet tall. So this is a really tiny sauropod. We also know that it was only a few weeks old when it died, so we're able to investigate that by looking at the rate of growth of the bone tissue that we saw under the microscope. And we know that when it died, it was only about 35 centimeters or about knee height uh, at the back when it died and probably weighed somewhere around 40 kilograms. Um, and you might think of that as, it's, it's kind of like the size of a big dog. Um, you really could have picked this animal up and carried it just like you could carry a golden retriever. I think one of the things that's, that's great about this work is that it really provides a test of precocity or precociality, this idea that parental care wasn't an important part of the life history of Rapetosaurus. It provides a series of data sets that other scientists will be able to use if they find similarly small dinosaurs. So things like bone proportions, bone histology, looking at the cartilage on the ends of the long bones, all of those things together can give you a much more complete picture of the growth history and lifestyle of a young animal. And this is really one of the first times that that has been articulated clearly in a, in a scientific way um, to investigate early life strategies in, in a dinosaur. And so we've added to that data set with sauropods. So I think it's going to provide a lot, of, a lot of other scientists who have baby dinosaur bones a way forward in thinking about how their animals were making their way 